Hey all, it's Katie from A Mother Thing, and today I'm going to be reviewing and teaching you how to use um, the Smile Brilliant Professional Teeth Whitening Kit. Um, now the folks at Smile Brilliant were nice enough to send me um, a review copy so that I could try it, so I don't actually know anything about how it works, so you're going to find out with me. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to open it up, and inside, as you'll see, it basically comes with everything that you need to create your own uh, teeth trays. So it's got the, um, the paste that you mix together to take teeth mold, and then what I'll have to do is I'll have to send those off um, and get them made, and then they'll send them back to me with trays that are meant just for my teeth. Um, so that it's not like you're going to a shop and buying just a crappy pack plastic tray that um, is for everybody. Um, this one will actually be made specifically to mold to my teeth, which will actually give me a better whitening. At least that's the idea. We shall see, shall we? Um, so when I take out um, everything that it comes with, we'll go over it so that we can all learn together. Um, so inside the box, you have an instruction guide, which is perfect because obviously I don't know what I'm doing. Um, there's awesome, there's a, a, an offer, a 25% off offer. Um, some more instructions for the actual desensitizing gel, which I think is for the next step once the trays come back. Um, and again, the teeth whitening uh, gel syringe instructions for each thing. So really there should be no excuse for us getting confused or doing it wrong. And there's also an already um, stamped return envelope so that all we have to do once we take the molds of our teeth, then we just flip them in this, send it off, easy peasy, they send it back within a couple days and we're ready to go. So right now um, we're going to go ahead and make the molds of our teeth. Now bear with me because like I said, I don't really know what I'm doing. That's my son. Okay, so. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is we're gonna get out the instruction guide, which um, is a completely illustrated guide, so it tells you exactly what you need to do, which is really handy for me because reading instructions can get quite tedious, and when you're distracted by screaming children, you know, it can, it can really get to you. So having an actual illustrated guide, I think, is wonderful. So step one, according to this, is prepare for impression, um, and that means that you have to make sure you have everything. So I've got everything that came in the kit, which is good, um, and it says start by brushing and flossing thoroughly. So clean teeth are really important to get a, a proper impression. So let's go and brush our teeth. We finished brushing and flossing. Um, I hope you'll forgive me I didn't show a video of me flossing because I didn't think that was anything anyone wanted to see. Um, but I did do it thoroughly to make sure that my teeth are as in the best order they can be in for these impressions. So it's really important, um, according to these directions, it's very important to work quickly here and to work with a stopwatch. Um, so I'll explain what I'm going to do, but then I'm going to have to do it so I won't be able to show every, pro every step of the process just because I'm on a time limit here. So what we're going to do is we're going to remove from the case um, the catalyst paste and the base paste, okay? Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to move them and we're going to knead them together for exactly one minute. Um, I have my phone here, which I'm going to use the stopwatch so that I make sure I do it for exactly one minute. And to knead them, um, what it says is we're just going to fold it in half again and again and again. Um, and eventually, um, once it's all mixed together, it should be a solid blue color. Now, the next step after that, and I will video this, but I just won't be able to explain it as I go. The next step is we're going to take one of the dental trays to make the impression and we're going to spread the resulting paste into it, all along it, and that should take no longer than 45 seconds. And again, because these are molds, they're gonna harden, so they, we have to work quickly, really. Um, once it's in the tray, then I have to stick it in my mouth um, and actually push up all around it. I don't bite it down, but I'm gonna push it up into uh, my teeth to make sure that I get a very solid impression. Now, the good people at Smile Brilliant were our geniuses, really, because Obviously you need the base paste and the catalyst paste, one for the uppers and one for the lowers. So they've given us, you know, two of each. But they were very kind because they probably realized that people make a lot of mistakes. They actually included a third lot of it as well, just in case, which is amazing. So if you make a mistake on the first one or on the second one, um, there's only two trays, but you can actually remove, you can actually remove it from the tray and do it another one because they 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 
they thought of it. And that's just wonderful because a lot of places, if you make a mistake, you're kind of screwed and you have to buy a new one. So it's really wonderful that they've done that. Um, so yeah, so then after I've made the impression, basically, um, you have to wait two minutes to do it. So you, you don't want to remove it before the two minutes is up. So that's really important again. So again, stopwatch, very important to have. Once you've uh, you finished that, you just have to verify that the impressions are good. Um, so you take it out, make sure that all of your teeth, you know, show solidly in the impression. And as long as you're good to go, you can move on to the next one, which is the bottom um, teeth. Or you could do, I suppose you could do the bottom ones first, just up to you, whatever works. Um, so yeah, so let's get started. I'm going to go ahead and remove the paste. So let's go. Alright, so the base paste is blue and the catalyst paste is white. So we're going to remove them and we're going to mix them together. So, let's see. Okay. so it's kind of the consistency of Play-Doh, really. I thought it might be a bit more slimy like gas or something, but no, it's about like Play-Doh. So, holding my hands and we're going to set one minute on the stopwatch. Go. And we're going to just hold it over and over together for one minute until it's a solid blue color. So and stop. So that's one minute. So now it's time to put it in the tray. So I'm going to elongate it a little bit so that it is easier to mold. And I'm going to put it right in there. Okay, it's really hard not to drool while you are using these, um, but I think I've done a good job. Um, and apparently I have a lot of teeth because my two farthest back ones, which I think are my uh, wisdom teeth up top, I don't think they've completely impressed, but I don't think I'm that mad about it. So here is what they look like. If you can see, fine impression. Yeah, I think those look pretty good. There is a little bit of drool drooling along. I do apologize. I hope you didn't see that. Um, so yeah, what you do is you actually leave it in the tray. You don't remove it from the tray. You just leave it there. And then we are going to wait, I think like I said, you wait, um, yeah, 10 minutes. So you wait for 10 minutes for them to finish doing their thing and then you're going to rinse them under cool water. So right now I'm going to go ahead and do the second lot of catalyst paste and base paste and then I'm going to do my bottom teeth also very wise to advise you to make sure you wash your hands before you do this because you are putting this stuff in your mouth. not go so well. Oh, first of all, I drooled through the entire thing. Okay, so the bottoms definitely make you drool a lot more than the top. Holy cow. That was not much fun, to be honest. Ugh. Make sure you have a towel around. Now, it did advise in the instructions that paper towel and a glass of water are good for cleanup. I didn't quite know what that meant. I thought, what's to clean up? Now I know. Half paper towels handy because I did not bring any in. So I'm using my pants. The other thing I noticed is that when I pulled it out, the 
impression stuff actually stuck to the bottom of my teeth and the tray came out. Um, so obviously since you're supposed to leave it in the tray, that's not a good thing. So I stuck the tray gently back on, hopefully not jiggling it too much because you're not supposed to jiggle it. Um, but it's sitting in there quite nicely now, so it's not a big deal. I don't want to get too close because there's drool literally in every teeth mark. Uh, but you can see, again, it made a really good impression. And in fact, the back teeth are perfect. It looks amazing. So I'm pretty impressed with it overall. So yeah, um, both of these look good. So again, we have to wait our 10 minutes and then we'll rinse them off under some cold water.